Hey guys, it is almost Halloween, so of course we're going to make a witch tower. All you're going to need for this is a large glass bottle, some clay, some acrylic paint, masking tape, and foil. I made the base for the hat out of lots of foil, and then you're going to wrap it with masking tape just to keep everything in place. I'm using black cost clay. I don't prefer it. I like the gray kind. Um, I just bought a bunch of this stuff on sale, so I got to use it up. You can use other clays. Polymer clay works. If you want to use air dry clay, I'm sure that can work as well. Um, and this is going to be the hardest part of your project is just trying to cover all those areas. And I did do it all at one time and then I baked it. If that doesn't work for you, then go ahead and bake in between and just keep coming back to it until you have all the areas covered. And you can use the back of a paintbrush and you can really get into small areas to smooth everything down. I put some clay through the pasta maker and I'm just taking these sheets and then I'm going to go ahead and work it on the bottle. Make sure you don't have any air bubbles as you're smoothing everything and uh, once you're done with that you can start making the door and cutting out the windows and all those little details. For the door I did cut out each individual wooden plank because I wanted it to look a little bit more realistic and that way I could also lift different areas just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And then you're just going to figure out where you want your door to be. I did move it up a little bit just because I wanted to add some stairs to it. And then that's going to be the overhang for the door. So I'm making each individual shingle. And then for this too, you're going to be using the back of a paintbrush, or at least that's what I use. It just uh, seems to be able to get into those little areas, into corners and then you can smooth it all down and make sure it's on there. And that's going to be the wooden pieces for around the sides. So I just cut these long strips and then I'm going to put it around the bottle and just cut them in uh, into little pieces. And then I'm going to add the wood grain design. And I'm not putting them on straight. I know it's hard to see, which is another reason why I don't like the black cost clay. Um, so I hope you can see some of the detail there. I'm not putting them on perfect. I'm just kind of overlapping here and there because, you know, I want it to look a little spooky, old and worn. And I got these eyeballs that I'm going to be sticking into different areas underneath the boards. And that's my little ghost, just made a little round ball and uh, a little sheet of clay that I put through the pasta maker. I'm gonna twist it around a little bit and then tear off some of those bottom pieces and attach it. And 
And I made the spider. It's just a piece of wire that I wrapped around the top of the hat. And the spider is just made out of a ball and then two more balls for the eyes. So super easy. Then I'll take some thin wire pieces and those are going to be the legs. Another eyeball. I think I got these on Amazon. It was a pack of like a hundred for, I want to say it was like 10 bucks. So if you need some uh, eyeballs, they're super cheap. And if you don't have them, you can you can make them too. It's just easier because I, I used so many of them. And now we get to the last part of it, which is my favorite, painting. And I'm using acrylic paint here. I always start with uh, dark bases and just gradually work my way up to lighter colors and lots of dry brushing. I oftentimes use a toothbrush just to get some speckles in different areas. And yeah, just have fun. And then I just inserted some fairy lights. And that's pretty much it. See you guys next time.